Hello, Ben. Hey, Greg. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yep. How are things? Hey, Greg, can you hear me? I can, yeah. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. I had a, a video call with my dad yesterday where my computer was, like, my speakers were muted. And was that happening to you? Uh, not this time. Uh, I mean, uh, that happened to me too. But in this case, is like, sometimes I'm... I'm plugging my here, so and when I plug them again, um, it's not uh, automatically detected. So I need to oh. go through the settings and change the device. That's annoying. Yeah. Uh. Good evening. Hello. Hey, Ben. I'm going to be adding to uh, the agenda here. How is everyone doing today? Yeah. All good. All right. That's fine. Thank you. Let's wait a couple of minutes to see if we have more people joining. Ben, if you want to, uh, Ben Hai, if you want to refresh your uh, agenda page, I've added a thing to it. Yeah, I, I can see it. Thank you. I'm going yeah. to add something else too. Yeah. Okay, the agenda is growing. Good. Shall we get started slowly uh, to see if more people join? If not, we we just can get our exciting conversations about JSON schema and standards. Okay. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for joining today. Um, instead of starting like I'm doing other days, going directly to the agenda, I'm going to change a little bit uh, um, my way of start this meeting, um, doing some reminders. Um, first reminder, 
I know that uh, everyone in this meeting knows, but this is being recorded. So maybe someone is going to see this tomorrow and uh, this information is going to be useful for that person or those persons. So tomorrow we have office hours. Um, the starting time is, uh, let me check. So office hours uh, is a great opportunity for, instead of just draw, throwing questions in Slack, you can connect with other experts in the meeting. So you can just get uh, direct interactions and have uh, engaging discussions about your use case. So it's tomorrow at 2 p.m. Uh, UTC. Uh, so please, if you have something to ask, this is your the perfect meeting for you. Uh, second reminder, um, if you are not in the Contribute channel, please join that channel because we are uh, all the time uh, asking for support or uh, contribute. we are um, uh, sharing their contributing opportunities. So if you are interested in getting involved in the project, this is your channel. Third reminder, um, adopters. We, we have... Um, a campaign to create uh, to bring uh, companies that are using JSON schema into our adopters file. Um, for example, all the companies that uh, published in the past a use case with us, all of those companies are in that file. But uh, we are uh, waiting for more companies. So if your company uh, is using JSON schema, we would love to get the name of the company in the file. So please take a look to the adopters.md file in the community channel and please add your company. And finally, um, we are having great discussions here, great discussions in Slack, but uh, uh, we are also discussing in, this, in GitHub. So please take a look to the open discussions. And if you have something to share or feedback or votes, please uh, join those discussions. And those are my reminders for today. Any comment uh, or idea or something that I miss or something that you uh, like to remind uh, the people? OK. Before going uh, directly to the agenda, I have to say that I like your air cut or air style, Julian. Uh... <laughs> Fresh out of the shower. Okay, um, yeah. I, I will try myself uh, at some point of time, something similar. <laughs> okay, um, jokes apart, let's, uh, let me share my screen and let's take a look to today's agenda. One second. Okay. Uh, before starting, let's do some housekeeping, reviewing together the meeting etiquette. We are going to record this meeting to share it with the community and also in our YouTube channel uh, to, to share it openly with everyone that is interested in uh, what we the work that we are doing. If someone in this meeting is against sharing this publicly, just send me a message and I take care of no uploading this one to YouTube. Otherwise, this will be uploaded tomorrow. We encourage everyone to challenge any language or behavior that is harmful, not inclusive, or against our code of conduct. We'll try to remain on mute when other people is speaking and use the Zoom reactions for us for us to for us to speak. And with any, with, without further ado, I don't know if I'm saying this correctly. Any, anyway, so the, directly, the agenda for today. Um, we have four items. Um, first one, from my side, we are being invited to uh, go to JS, uh, APA Days Paris um, for free with a JSON schema boot. This is an uh, interesting opportunity, uh, and I will we'll like to know what the other people think about this. So yeah, is I don't know if in, we did this in the past, but know that we are investing in bringing companies and sponsors. So maybe this is a good opportunity to speed up the, all that effort. Second point, this one comes from Ben. Um, we recently 
uh, enabled a GitHub action to send um, messages to implementers that are actual, uh, um, doing updates in the implementers page, but we need to make some changes in the permissions so that we can uh, send communications for new people uh, making updates. Uh, so yeah, Ben will explain further later. Um, another point added by Greg, remove vocabulary from the book of meta schema uh, with a linked discussion. So we will explore that later. And finally, um, from my side, a reminder uh, to see if the content we have in the wiki um, page uh, document is uh, updated or if not, uh, just a remind to, to update it. This is what we have, but you are still on time to add more items. So if you have something in mind, just uh, add a comment in the chat, in the issue, or directly add the issue. Uh, edit the issue, sorry. Any comment before starting with this amazing menu we have for today? Cool. First thing first, let's review uh, the action items of the past week. Um, we discuss about um, customizing the GitHub topics uh, associated with JSON schema. This was a great idea provided by Ege, Ege Corgan. Um, we have been working together this week to send a um, pull request to get the topics updated. And this has, has been merged today. So um, this is actually available. Let me very quickly show you what we have. OK, this is what is appearing right now. Uh, our Before the pull request, this was the content being shown directly, the number of uh, repositories uh, with this tag. But we have uh, this brief description. If you want this to be updated, just let me know. Or directly, you can, we can send another pull request to add more information. Here are the full list of authors of all the uh, drafts, the, com the com aggregated list, and the links. So yeah, this is uh, ready. And with one single uh, pull request, uh, what we did is create an alias uh, to connect um, the two topics we had, this one and this one. So this JSON schema without this character connect, uh, is just the same that the other one. Is, what we did is just create an alias connecting both. Let's see if uh, this helps us to bring more people to the web page. And the action item pending here that is not in the issue is uh, remind the implementers to use this topic and share with them uh, that we just did this uh, customization of the label. Comments with this? Or something that we can, ideas to continue with this? That looks good to me. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's a, a good idea. So yeah, that's good. Which one are we? Def which one are we promoting more? The one with more. This one. Okay. Is the one with more, and yeah, I think it's like our. It's like the our domain too. Yeah. You know. Okay, so yeah, I, would, send... I would definitely list, um, you know, hey, just to add a note to the, the other one to say go, you should probably use the, the, the with the hyphen. It's the same. The, the thing is that it's the same description for both. Uh, it's just one single pull request. Uh, let me check if I have the... Oh. Um, I'm going to very quickly show this. Uh, give me one second. Uh, let me make this bigger. 
uh, what I did is uh, create this alias. So I'm just, mm. man we are just maintaining this one and with this alias, everything is linked. So maybe I can add a note here in the description, but at least we don't have to maintain both. I wonder if there's a like a best practice kind of thing. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I'm going to take note of, of this and add like a note or something. Yeah. And I'm sure we're not the first person to, or the, the first group to, to have multiple topics or multiple textual ar arrangements of the topics. Uh, give me a second. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll uh, send another peer to update to add a note there. Like, you cannot use both uh, topics, but we encourage everyone to use this as the primary one, or default one. Okay, any other comment on this one? Okay, um, the other two axioms we have, uh, we had, is um, create an ADR for documenting the decision of deprecating uh, this schema, JSON schema.org slash schema redirect. So we, don't, we didn't have volunteers uh, at the time. So if someone has spare time for that, um, yeah, um, we agreed on documenting that. Any comment? Connected with this, uh, I just uh, a quick reminder that in this issue, sorry, tried not to do very quick navigations. This link is wrong. Yes, it's wrong. Okay, I, I. Okay, there is an issue with a proposal of deprecation plan. Uh, just for discussion, uh, let me see if I can find it. Or maybe it's a pull request directly. Okay, this one. Um. I just uh, wanted to share uh, what I did, uh, what was my idea with, with this, is um, for anything that is not the spec development. So if we release a new version of the spec, we don't need to, to consider this. This is just for other things like exceptions on things that we realize uh, that we need to deprecate, uh, but it's not related to this, the spec development. Uh, I I think that, Greg or Jason, you did uh, a question today about what is the scope. I didn't provide that the added this information here, but basically it's for things very specific like this case. Like we realize that something that we need to stop doing, uh, yeah, to, just to find the best way to do it. And this pull request is here for review. So if you are curious, just take a look. But at least we have a standard way to do the, those things. And a reminder to to be careful with the communications and providing enough time for everyone to adjust. Comments? I'm thinking, um, so I had a uh... Uh, PR uh, the end of last week to uh, um, serve schemas with um, with proper headers. Um, would we consider that like so? Th this is this is a de deprecation um, process, but should this cover changes as well? Um, should stuff like that fall in under this uh, this kind of category? I think the spirit of it is uh, um, we don't want to 
break anything that any that people are uh, depending on. So I would think that changes would uh, um, would apply there too. Um, in in that specific case, uh, I don't know what. Uh, is going to be very, very, very strange if someone has something built that is going to break just changing uh, the um, the content type of the response in that way. So it's going to be extremely strange, but I mean, uh, a small probability is still there, but very small. So I think that is just for things like uh, um, breaking, uh, removing something that is going to, we, we know that is going to break something. I don't know. It's, it, I mean, I know that is not a best uh, definition, but in this case, the removing a redirect for me is clear, but just changing the the content type of uh, something that didn't have any content type before is just being more pre uh, precise with the content type of the response. I don't think that is going to be a a breaking change in this in the same way, but it's just my idea. Uh, uh, anyways, this is just a proposal. I'm not tr saying that uh, we should do this. Is uh, is here for getting feedback and make it better. And maybe we need to add uh, a, a new paragraph with the scope, uh, clarifying that this is not for the spec development and things that are not covered covered by this. So yeah, yeah, I I would definitely put in a clarification. Yeah, that it's uh, not pertaining to the scope or to the spec. And, um, yeah, as for other things that it might apply to, I think, I mean, I don't really care. I'm just kind of asking the leading question. I personally don't think that adding a header is something that really needs to be addressed. Um, I guess currently, if was there not a header, was there not a, uh, an, a media type header before at all? No. Yeah. Then, then it's not technically changing. We're just we're we're adding to it. We're yeah. We are fixing. Well, probably. <laughs> I mean, I can imagine that uh, certain clients that. Uh, uh, you know, uh, behave differently for different media types. You know, if it didn't have one before, it may behave differently if it suddenly had one. Um, I can, I can definitely see the edge case where it could, where it could, um, you know, it could break something that somebody, uh, depended on, but, um, but I think it's very unlikely even more so than uh, removing the latest uh, um, URL. Yeah, I but, think I, I think we're fine here. Yeah, maybe. Uh, what what we can do if we if there is a remote possibility of a client behaving differently, what we can do is um, take some of the steps of the proposal. So we don't need to make like a statement of deprecation. We don't need to create a blog post explaining this or that, but at least we can follow the communication, um, the communications like, hey, this is going to happen in 30 days, or this is going to happen uh, in one week. So the people, if someone um, thinks that uh, it, it can be the case for them, so they have uh, time to adjust. Uh, so maybe we can do try that, uh, but reduce the the um, the um, criticity or the um, severity of the message is just, just just for information. We think that is not going to break anything, or it's not going to affect in any way. But we are going to do this because it's the right thing to do. We um, we had uh, difficulties to implement that in the past, but now we can do it. So we will do it in one month. How that sounds? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I, I specifically wasn't um, interested in this particular case. I'm just, I, I brought it up um, particularly because like, should we 
um, instead of calling it a deprecation policy, call it a change policy because it's possible that uh, you know we might want to use this policy in the future for changes as well. Yep. Maybe I'll I'll update the the PR like um, differentiating um, deprecations uh, with changes and like taking some of the ideas of the I'll I'll think about that. And let's let's try in this case before merging, like trying the communication steps to see what, how is perceived by the community. Because I mean, uh, in the past we we broke some things. <laughs> I broke myself some things, so maybe they will appreciate uh, like this that we are learning uh, and trying to do things better. Sounds good. Any other comment on this topic? I'm going to share my screen again to move all of this. Okay. And the other pending action that this is, is in progress but not complete is um, work in the sponsorship packages uh, to see if there is a way for uh, transferring. I mean, uh, there was a proposal uh, done by Juan to transfer funds from Learn Jason Schema. So yeah, we, and in, in the underlying topic was we didn't have a strong or solid uh, sponsorship layers and I'm working on that. So as soon as uh, there is a draft pull request with some information, but I have to enrich it. So this is why it's still in progress. I'm going to stop sharing again to see if uh, before starting with today's agenda, we, there is a, any comment uh, on this one on any other any other other things that we discussed or reviewed together. Cool. Yes, I'm going to share my screen again. Okay, and for today, I, I have been speaking a lot, so I will suggest we change the order and we start with uh, your topic, Greg, or with yours, uh, Ben. You can decide. I'm easy. Can I go, Greg? Okay. Um, so this should be pretty quick. I've linked a discussion in the agenda um, where we're talking about um what exactly a vo vocab meta schema is and specifically the vocabulary the use of the vocabulary keyword inside of it um i did have a chat with henry as well uh getting some background and it seems that everybody's on the same page for uh that this should be removed um so i've got a pr in there for no not that uh i've got a it, you have to expand the show the previous nope you passed it that no nope, passed it it's right in the middle there you go show previous replies um the blue text i i'm trying i'm trying it's late for me so let me okay give me one second show okay. seven there you go so i've okay. got i've got three prs one for each version of the spec uh 2019 2020 and uh draft next um i think we're all on the same page that that we want to remove vocabulary from the meta scheme from the vocab meta schemas uh, for draft next. I think the only open question is, do we want to retroactively do it for the others? Um, I think it probably be a good idea to do so um, is it doesn't do anything in those meta schemas. And it's, I think it's just adding to confusion. Um, additionally, uh, Juan in his book is describing how to build a third party vocabulary and he's using the 2012 meta schema or meta schema set, uh, as a template on how to do that. Um, 
and he has a deadline. He's mentioned this later. He has a deadline of Friday to turn in all of his chapters. So um, I would like to possibly fast track these so that uh, he can update his uh, his writing to remove the vocabulary keyword from the vocab meta schemas that he's recommending. Um, yeah. Thoughts? Yes. All right, Jason's already approved all three, so. <laughs> okay. No further objections, I'll have those merged today. Um, not not directly, but indirectly related with this. Uh, Greg, I just wanted to thank you for the work you have been doing, like uh, engaging with uh, Henry to check those things. Uh, so it provides a lot of value. So thanks for that. Yep. I'm done. Okay, thanks. Uh, next topic. Uh, I when I added it, I should uh, add more information, uh, like the related PR. So let me. I'm going to look for that in a second. Um, then, so I have everything ready. That's okay. I mean, I can talk about it at the same time. Okay. Um, so Go ahead. So this item was just to uh, um, check if there are any objections. Um, Julian implemented a uh, message to be sent on to, or a comment to be added by a bot to anybody or to any PR which modified um, the, the implementations file or some other specific data. Um, uh, just to you know, inform them of the various places that they should be looking, uh, particularly the, the implementers page and joining various channels and, and a few other things. Um, we had somebody place a PR in uh, either today or yesterday, and um, I, I had a look at this and I wondered, oh, has that, that action run? Um, it hadn't got run um, because there's a limitation on when actions get run for PRs for new contributors. Um, currently, this setting on the repository says that um, any new contributor requires approval. Um, we can change this so it's any new contributor who also is a new GitHub user. So we can make it a little bit more forgiving. Um, I assume this is to, to try and catch out spam or people trying to, to run up costs by creating new GitHub accounts and, and going on and, and basically spamming PRs to create loads of action runs. There's no option to just be completely permissive and always run it. So um, we can make it a little bit more permissive. Um, so it runs for users which are not new users to github even if they are new to contributing to json schema um does that make sense or if i use too many words there cool um so unless there are any objections tomorrow i will go and modify that setting um there was an issue with the, the action, uh, but Julian has picked that up and either resolved it or is in the process of resolving it. I haven't looked at all of the messages that have come through. Um, but I think he's, he's on that, getting that resolved. Oh, super, lovely. Um, yeah, that's all from me on this item. Um, I'm totally in favor of uh, being more permissive with uh, those cases like this one. Um, 
this pull request that I needed a lot of time to find. I have, I'm going to copy the link in the chat. Um, it's great because we can have like, um, we saw that we are like taking care of the journeys of, of different personas. In this case, it's implementers and it's the first like live response that they are going to get. And it's like, I hope that is going to provide like a great uh, reaction by them, but we hope to have more cases uh, in the future. Like for example, uh, provide a message with, for the first um, pull request or um, the first merge, like those typical uh, workflows that can be very easy to implement. And I think that um, if we fix this permission today, uh, it's going to be easier in the future. Uh, and this is in, um, I'm actually working in the contributors, uh, in the sponsors contributor journey, let's say in the sponsors journey. But the next uh, thing that I'm going to work after uh, reviewing, if we need to add something to adapters, is the contributor journey, the overall contributor journey. And I'm planning to suggest or implement uh, the first set of uh, automations like this one uh, to react to some uh, milestones of achievements of the contributors. So great for me. It's worth noting that this setting is um, repository specific. Um, I don't know if there is a, a global setting for this, but um, it's, it's at least repository specific. Okay. Um... For the moment, the website, community, and maybe not too much. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, if we are expecting um, contributions there, yeah, I'll review everything and, and I add this as part of the checklist. So as soon as we consider these um, automations, so yeah. So uh, we love the idea, right? <laughs> Thumbs up, everyone. Okay, I'm going to go back to the agenda. Um, thank you, Greg, and thank you, Ben. Um, next item, very quickly, uh, I saw some discussions in the chat, but I... Um, I'm going to anyways bring this topic. So we have been using in the past this uh, markdown file in the community repository with uh, the prioritized list of discussions so the people can go directly and see uh, what what is uh, critical for each member of the core team or the members that in the first that are expecting more people to engage with the discussion. But um, for the last weeks, months, uh, we are haven't updated this, uh, I mean, it's outdated. And my um, intention adding this with the agenda is uh, just check with everyone if this is valuable, still valuable or or not. So we can just go back and put here uh, the current data, or if it's not, maybe consider to remove it. We were having a discussion in the chat at the beginning of the of the meeting where uh, many of us or a few of us decided or commented that we forgot about this file. Um, as soon as you put it up there, I updated mine by my listing by basically removing to extract the the output spec because that's done. Other than that. The other two items are still important to me, but I haven't done a like a, a review of everything that I'm working on to warrant updating that. But as I said, you know, we I had forgotten about the file completely. Yeah, I don't think anybody uses it, and uh, nobody's complained that it hasn't been updated. So. Uh, I'm pretty sure nobody uses it.
I'll say um, maybe a, a markdown file that requires a PR and a merge to update what, what is the current status just for visibility. Uh, I mean, it works uh, for the for that purpose of visi provide visibility, but maybe there are other ways to, to keep the track of the things that are important. So like... We have been using boards for some of the things and it's like more uh, dynamic. And it's just, you don't need to make a pull request or something. You just link an issue uh, and put it in a in a list of things in, the, in a board. So maybe instead of just stop doing that, well, my suggestion is maybe we can find a way to make it easier. Just to provide a different suggestion, but I mean, I haven't used that before, but when I joined it, I didn't have uh, priorities and things that are important to me. But uh, right now I have a lot. So if if I if we decide to start using it, maybe I will add some stuff from my side. Let's, uh, we can wait and check uh, others. What other thing about that, or just start a discussion, or make this like a open uh, asynchronous decision. Yeah, I think it was, I think it was an experiment that uh, didn't work. And um, I, I'd suggest that we just remove it. Um, if, uh, if there's a reason why we think we should uh, try something, uh, you know, similar or to, you know, try to get it started up again, then yeah, we can talk about that, but otherwise I'd just uh, delete it because it's not being used. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, it's, it's clearly not being used because it hasn't been updated or you know, nobody's noticed it hasn't been updated or complained about anything. Um, For me, like, we we could try encouraging each other to post stuff in in the contribute channel to get wider feedback when we're looking for wider feedback um but i think often we're kind of checking in on github activity anyway or we require feedback from specific groups of people rather than general community um so i i don't i, I don't know if there's anything we need to replace this with um I think we should um you know definitely check in with Karen to see if she feels the same. And um you know it wouldn't hurt to to ask people in the contribute channel how they'd best like to receive feed or receive requests for feedback. Having said that, asking in the channel does somewhat bias the audience. So yeah. Yep. Uh, if if Karen was the one interested in having this information, I definitely check with 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 them before taking any decision about removing or not. Because um, I mean, I'm actually a fan of of Karen. Every time that uh, they join a discussion, the is is great. So I I love to to have Karen as uh, informed as possible. Um, so. Before taking a decision, let's check it with, with, with them. And maybe it's not a matter of the 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 purpose was great, but maybe not how we implemented it in this kind of page. So maybe we can try something easier or as as Ben is saying, just the contribution channel or something. So yeah. I let's instead of decide, let's 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 check um, and try to provide others of the information they need to get keep them engaged. Is that okay? Continue the discussion in the TST channel and let's see what feedback we get. So we can 
continue the discussion in the next week or just in, in the Slack? Okay. Um, if we don't have more comments on this on that topic, there is one single item pending in the agenda, and is uh, an opportunity <clears throat> to have a boot in EPA days parties. Um, EPA days, <clears throat> sorry, EPA days is one of the biggest API conference. They have different. Conference every month in different cities, uh, New York, um, in India, in Australia, I don't, uh, in London, um, in Helsinki, and Paris is the biggest one. Uh, and actually, in Paris, there is going to be um, a track for Open API, another track for Async API, and the ACA and Sync API folks have been discussing with them uh, ideas or how to bring more standards. Uh, to API days. And the Async API, some of the contacts we have in Async API team, they suggested us to, to, to be there with a boot for free. So we don't have to pay anything at all. There is going to be like a community space or when open source projects or standards like us can, can be. So, and for me uh, and Ben, because the conversation was Ben, uh, someone from Axing API and myself. So everything sounds like a short period of time to prepare, but a good idea. And I just we just wanted to check with you all, what do you think about this specific case and maybe um, other similar opportunities in the future. So yeah, thoughts. This is, by the way, this is happening uh, the uh, 6th of December. So in one month. Yeah, I don't know that I can make it that that short notice. <laughs> um, the, other th the other thing is, sorry, Greg, for interrupting. Maybe it's not in the past. We tried to be together in things like in conferences and things like that. But I'm not sure if in this case is something that is going to. Be, if if we try to be all of us in in in, in Paris or in another city like New York, maybe it's going to be better uh, for the members of the of the team of the people interested that is closer to that, so we can reduce the the cost and yeah. maximize the the revenue of the value we are getting. Yeah. Um, I went to API Days in Melbourne last year. Um, and I don't know if you mentioned now that now in Paris, they're putting together a, a like an open source section, open, open standard section, which is really neat. They didn't have anything like that in Melbourne. It was, it was really all, um, business oriented. Um, the, the people that I, I, I interacted with a lot of booths, but that was all sales uh sales people um working the booths and so i didn't really get uh a lot of traction as a json schema person um because the people that i needed to interact with were would have been the developers and even the even the people attending the conference were more the um like the uh staff engineers and you know principal engineers those that level of of people there were there were some developers there um that like that postman was advertising to but a lot of the a lot of the companies really are trying to push their technology which is going to be something that a higher level uh, engineer would be more interested in um i came away from it thinking that if I were to attend it again, I would uh, not really focus. I, I wouldn't go to the booths, uh, but I would try to talk more with the with the other people there, try to find the developers that are there and talk with them um, because they're going to be the ones who are using JSON schema, not, not the salespeople pushing product. 
Um, but that was my take of of the Melbourne conference last year. Um, thought I'd put it out there. Yeah, that was kind of my first thought about uh, mm -hmm. the proposal to to have a booth at a conference is that um, we're, we'd kind of be a little out of place in uh, the kind of booths that are usually there where they're usually, you know, the people trying to sell you something and we don't really have something to sell. Um, but uh, but if we have specific goals that we want to get out of that, um, I think that it would make sense. Um even though it's you know not what I would expect, I think we can still make something out of it. Yeah, I think having the in that regard, I think having the uh, specific open source open spec area um, would set the context better uh, for having a booth as well. Uh, we didn't have anything like that in Melbourne. Um, from my side, the only conference that I know in, of the series in person is Helsinki, and probably is the smallest one. And same same thought, initial thought is like more bis the booth were like more business oriented. However, I think that the having uh, business folks around or tech tech business profiles there make it easier if we try to connect more from uh, sponsors, adopters, and things like that. Uh, and also being open to uh, connect with experts that knows about um, this on schema or alternative or uh, use case. And But I think that it is, as, as everyone is saying, the context is more clear, it's an opportunity. And by the way, before joining uh, Postman, uh, the last year I have been working in Twilio, uh, basically running, running boots in conferences. So I know well how that is done. So for me, it's like easy. I the, 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 In 2022, I attended like 12 conferences and stuff in the boot myself, just me. So for me, it's, it's, it's easy, to be honest. And one of the things is um, when you are doing something different than others, is like you have an opportunity to to get the most. Uh, if the people is tired of uh, speaking with salespeople, I think that we can we can be there with a different proposal and and, and uh, provide a a good surprise. Like, hey, uh, we we are here. Uh, it's the first time that we are doing this, but we know that this uh, we understand that it's important, and we need to. I mean, we can have like a clear message of we like to connect with everyone. And in my mind, the main goals, uh, I haven't checked this with anyone, uh, but the main goals are probably check uh, the appetite for the sponsors. If we have the new sponsorship uh, layer available, see what is the feedback or maybe get some additional sponsors or maybe attracting some adopters or case studies. So with that, for me, I'm happy. And of course, I know that we will have some JSON schema discussions around. So, and is if it's for free, and for me, traveling to Paris is 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 like three hours or something like that. Yeah, sounds good. That's a good goal. <laughs> need need to check with my wife. This is going to be harder, maybe, but <laughs> step by step. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if Postman wants to send me to Paris either. Just, just saying. Sounds like a good time. Uh, more, more, more context. Uh, I have been part of a very long asynchronous discussion with folks from other standards, uh, trying to get a. Uh, agreement or thoughts on having a multi-spec conference and this that that part is not going so well so it's like a very a slow conversation totally asynchronously uh, we we checked uh, the price doing this close to the linux foundation and it's crazy so i think that if we need to start exploring like uh, being more present in conferences or in the future if we continue doing the things right maybe have our own track i think that this is a, 
a good way, a good, a better path to explore. And we can have discussions with um, API days folks there too. I think that this is another goal. If, if Open API and Async API get an uh, engagement with them to have their own track, maybe we can think about that in the future. 2025 or, oh no. Or 2024, maybe, not 25. Thumbs up around. <laughs> Julian, you have a different AIDA style uh, than when we started. So what happened there? <laughs> It happens. Okay. It happens. Okay, <laughs> I don't have that. I don't have that problem of changing my hair style. Anyways, uh, if every everyone thinks that is a good idea, um, next step, uh, I don't know, Ben, maybe is check uh, the feasibility, um, right? For yeah, me. I think there was there's one point we haven't discussed on the call is that um, we would be looking to do some sort of merchandise, or there will be some sort of cost involved and. Um, it may be appropriate to take that from our open collective. Um, so Ben has going to do some investigation and find out how much um, some basic merchandising and and uh, I don't know what you call those roll up banner things like one of those. Um, you know, just just to make us look a little bit presentable and give people something to take home. Um, so Ben is going to look and see how much that sort of thing might cost. And um, we'll come back and have that um, discussion. But um, yeah, swag, basically. Um, yeah. Probably if uh, it will be like something that we will print on site, uh, probably here in Spain will be cheaper than in the UK. And I will bring like a big um, bag, luggage or something. So I will bring with myself with, with everything. Yeah, I'll make some research about what prices we can get and a proposal of how much merchandising. So we we can like stickers is not a problem. We can have a bunch, but other things like I don't know a t-shirt or socks is is different. So we should be like um, we should decide what is uh, to whom we are going to to provide. Like not giving it all. So maybe check like. Providing a a form or something, I don't know, uh, something that we like. I don't know. We need to think about that. Uh, what 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 are we going to ask the people to to do to to get a yeah. cool t of our JSON schema? We should um check with Postman if we can um, borrow an iPad or something for collecting that sort of data. I'll check. I think about that. Yeah. Or maybe for, for I mean for adopters, people that is going interested in being adopter for sure, we can bring like a, something really cool. Uh, yeah, I'll provide a proposal for that. And by the way, if we make t-shirts, I'm going to keep one for each of you, so don't worry. I'll I'll take care of every, of the family. <laughs> I don't know when I will bring one to you, Greg, in New Zealand, but. I'll keep it with me until the next time we see in person again. <laughs> okay. Um, any other comment before leaving? Cool. Um, so it was great to see you all. Uh, it was a great meeting. We covered a lot of stuff and we, I hope that you are going to have a rest, a good rest of the day. Take care and let's continue discussion in Slack. Thank you for your time. Good night and good morning, evening, whatever is your time zone. Take care. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.